Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poke Guru. It is beer time. Um, have a nice glass of water between pints. Helps to cleanse the palate, also to slow you down a little bit so you don't drink too much. Um, a big of beers. We're here to talk about a big of beers. Why are we here to talk about a big of beers? Um, I was at the LCBO today. I went uh, to Fairweather in the West End of Hamilton. In the West End of Hamilton at Osler and Main West is probably the best LCBO outside of maybe Summerhill, which is the flagship LCBO. There, there might be a better one. I doubt it. This is an incredible LCBO with an incredible selection of beers and some Trappist Monk beers and pretty much Trappist Monk beer. Um, you guys know my affinity for Belgian-style beers. This is, this is like a party night for me. Now, I'm not going to drink all three of these tonight. That's insane. These are 750 mil bottles. Um, eleven forty-five, seven dollars and ninety cents, eight frigging dollars. Are you kidding me? There are some Ontario craft beers that catch me off guard with pricing. Let's say that, and and I wonder to myself, how the hell are we getting beer this good that cheap? I don't know. Now I know people rail against the LCBO, and believe me, I get it. There's a lot of problems with that. The private-owned beer store that is another issue. Um, but at the end of the day. I can buy three of my favorite beers for under 25 bucks from around the world. I'm going to be happy about that. Now, can it get better? Of course it can. It can get way better. Private stores, maybe that's the way to go. Competition, open it up. Maybe I'm getting this cheaper. Maybe I get more Belgian beer brought in. I don't want, you know, six-month-old American IPAs, and that's what I think you're going to see, but... Nonetheless, I'm going to digress. So let's talk about what we've got, and we're going to talk about the beer we're going to drink. Now, we've got uh, ABT 12, Belgian Quad. From what I understand, from my readings, uh, this is basically Vester 11 12. Vester 11, I never say it right. The one that's like a bucket list beer for me. Beautiful Quad, beautiful beer. Uh, Chimay Red, Dubel Premier. Uh, this one, very easily found. Lots of them. I remember I got my glass last year for Christmas. And the beer I'm going to drink tonight, it's almost been a year since I talked about this beer last um, La Trappe from the Netherlands. Uh, it's a Trappist Monk beer. Uh, they have brewed a few beers here with Brunswick Beer Works, I believe. So that's that's quite of interesting. I'm a fan of the Trappel. Trappel. Um, <laughs> ABV, 8%. ABV on this one is 7%. And on the week two, the big 12 is 10%. That's a, that's a lot of 750 mils. All cork and cage. You can age these if you like. This one's good till 2021, it says. Um, I buy them like, I don't buy them often because to be honest with you, there's so much great beer here in Ontario that I, I tend to focus a little my, more of my attention on that because that's my day to day. You know, these are where I've made my friends and, and I get to meet people and it's fun to talk about these beers. But I like to drink these beers because, you know, the, I remember the first time I had started having Belgian beer and I was, what is going on? Like, what is happening here? I didn't understand beer until I started drinking Belgian beer. Now, with these corks, they're fun to get out, but, you know, you got to get ready for that moment. The moment, ready? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Smoky coming out. I love to drink Belgian-style beers. I love the ones... We, we talked about this the other day when we were drinking the West Mall. I love the ones in Ontario, too. Listen, there's some really kick-ass Belgian beers here in Ontario. Now, this is a Belgian beer, style beer, made in the Netherlands. It's Dutch. Um, this is like my third beer today. After two Hopfen pills. Hee <laughs> Banana, clove, a bit of bubble gum on the nose there. Uh, cheers to international beers, because why the hell not? I mean, they've been making beer in Belgium and the Netherlands for a long, long time. Always can learn something new. Cheers. That's a delightful beer. It really is $8 for 750 mil of an 8% beer imported from the Netherlands to Canada. You want to explain that one to me? Because I don't even understand how the economics of that work. This is not made by Molson's or Labatt's or AB InBev or Sapporo, who are the darlings of the big three, I suppose. Um... Explain it to me, please, because I want I want to understand it. I'm not that smart. I just drink beer and talk about it. Um, big banana, bubble gum, 
Uh, there's that's Belgian candy sugar, so that sweetness there. Uh, clove, orange peel, lemon zest, a bit of a peppery coriander back end. If you like the style of beer, Trapels, Dubels, Quads, um, Patters beers. If you like Belgian style beers, these beers you know, you probably buy them probably more than I do. Although I don't know, I do buy, tend to buy them. I'm really thinking about drinking one of these after this. I mean, the Raptors are on, the NHL playoffs are on. I don't got to work tomorrow. I can sleep in till like seven. This is really good beer for eight bucks. I mean, it's meant to be slow sipped. Absolutely. But it's also meant to be enjoyed on a patio somewhere. Like it's just, it's a very versatile beer. It's a really, really good beer. So if you see it, pick it up. If you like Belgian style beers, like I have uh, my cousin Glenn <laughs> hates bananas, hates the flavor of bananas. So this would be no good for him. This would be completely off the radar for him, and that's understandable. If you don't like that kind of Belgian-y ester, that yeast, that Belgian yeast, that kind of, kind of like this funk, I don't know. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, it tends to drag. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, anyways, look for it. It's it's 8 bucks. 8 bucks, 11 bucks, 7.45 or some ridiculousness. Give it a shot. Under 30 bucks, buy these three bottles. That's your whole friggin' day. Just fuck out your whole calendar. You're good. Cheers, my friends. Catch you on the other side. Maybe. See, if I had, like, digital editing stuff, I could be like that guy in the Star Wars. It's La Trap! It's La Trap! I, I really gotta make some friends.